Hey y'all, we got lights. What? And so bright. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for our video this week. Today, we'd like to talk to you about the basic tools that we use when making that foam craft armor. Now, I try to keep everything I do very simple and easy to use. No CNC machine, no giant laser printers, just really basic stuff. Um, and so this is all you need really to, to work with foam to make any kind of armor that you might want to use. So last week we did a video, um, just a kind of brief introduction on using foam to make armor. So we want to kind of expand on that a little bit to this week. Um, and then next week we're planning on doing a tutorial where we walk through building a piece of armor so you guys can kind of see our process and what's going on. So be sure to check that out. Number one most important thing to use no, one. is an X-Acto blade. Um, you want to make sure it's sharp because if it's not sharp, you're going to get some nasty tears when you're cutting the, yeah. the foam. Um, so you want to keep it consistently sharp. You can buy a sharpener. What we do is just have disposable blades that we, we rotate out every you know couple cuts or so. But that is probably the most important thing that you can have um, as far as getting you know the, the, the cuts and the, the symmetry and everything correct that you need yeah. for your armor. Um, because if you, if it's not if it's not cut right, it's just not going to turn out right in the end. So you want to make sure that that is right from the get go. And you can use a smaller one, longer one, whatever you mo whatever you're most comfortable with. I've used the same one for probably five years now, and all I do is buy a new blade, slap them in there, and go from there. Number two, I always use a ruler at all times and have one on hand. Uh, it's just nice for doing, of course, getting clean lines. And also give, giving that nice kind of measurements if you know kind of what, what size you're working with. So always have a nice sturdy ruler on hand to make sure you can get clean lines. Keep it proportional. Th that too. Number three. Three. All right, you want to use a Dremel because when you cut out the, the edges of the foam, you may have some rough edges or you may just have some really sharp looking edges and the Dremel is going to help sand them down, get them smooth, look them look more natural um, as opposed to like the really sharp edges or really dirty edges yeah. that you may get with foam. Number four, that's not four, four. This is obvious, but I always have pins and markers laying around. Um, you can definitely find certain markers are better than others. Sharpies are wasteful, honestly, because I mean cheap. We have a big box of just cheap old little big pens that just uh, that we just use. It actually, the foam can actually dull or whatever, nullify basically the ink quite rapidly, surprisingly. So, it, it, I mean, a lot of times you'll you, use a brand new pen, that thing will stop working in just a couple minutes. So have a big old stash to work with. Five. Five. All right, so when you are painting your foam, um, you may have different sections, different colors. Um, what we found works really well is what's called frog tape. We've tried using just like cheap painter's tape in the past, and uh -huh. that doesn't work as uh -huh. well. Um, we find that paint yeah. leaves frog tape, however, it leaves really flat. Yes. And you can paint over it, spray paint it, do whatever you want, um, and then peel it off when the paint's dry, and you're going to have really clean, smooth lines as opposed to what painter's tape where the paint could just bleed. So. Frog tape, oh, it's a little more expensive, but it's definitely, definitely worth it, and it's going to save you a lot of yeah. time in the long run. Number six. So we already touched on this slightly, but sandpaper is going to be your best friend and your most dearly hated friend. Um, basically, all of cosplay is sandy. All you, all you do is you Armor sand. cosplay. All you, armor cosplay is just sandy. So if you glue things, a bunch of things together, every single little seam you have has to be sanded down. Usually starting from a rougher grit, like a 120 or a 160, then up to 220, then 300, and then 400, just to get that perfectly smooth before you paint. So I really, really hate sanding, but I know it has to be done. So here's an example. Here's what we look like when we're sanding. This is how we feel on the inside when we're sanding. Ah! 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 Me. I just want to not say. Ah! Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Make sure you watch next week while we do our tutorial for the foam. I'm actually going to create a piece of armor for you to check out mm -hmm. all of our we'll steps. Um, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.